back. <laughs> Hello, we have the microphone working. Yay! Hi, how are you? I really appreciate all of your patience. Thank you so much, Mikey, for lurking. If I haven't seen you for ages. Um, Maddie, you're always first. Hello, welcome in. I may have a lisp as as the stream goes on. I bit my cheek here. Um, not here. That's a something need to get cut out. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that. Um, or I can talk about it. Either way, <laughs> I'm happy either way. I'm desens desensitized to it now. Um, but it hurts if I like move my jaw up and down too much because I keep hitting the bruises inside my mouth. Anywho, <laughs> you have been warned if I start having a lisp, that's where it's come from. But hello Lego, I'm so proud and happy for you that you've had the best sleep that you've had in quite some time. It's hard to get a good night's sleep. I can I completely relate to that. Completely. Is there anything else I missed out on? No, we're good. Like, is there anything else? Because there was other news from the previous stream before. My microphone wasn't working. Which I found out. I restarted my whole PC thinking that I couldn't fix it. And I just found out that my microphone just wasn't connected. <laughs> it was connected physically, but I don't know. OBS has done something. And so he wasn't there. And Romeo's still here. Oh my goodness. It has been a week. I have missed streaming. I've missed you guys so much. How have you guys been? How has your week been treating you? Happy Friday for most of everywhere now, I think. How's the week been? <laughs> Tell me everything. Um, Karen Smith woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, so I think she's going to be a little ruthless for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Just for shits and gigs. I'm in a mood. <laughs> I'm not in a, I'm not in a mood. But I think it'd be funny. It's been good. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> You're too sweet. Oh, had rugby go. Hand egg. It's a hand egg sport. I will never not call it a hand egg sport. Oh, Maddie, you're too sweet. I hope that you've been okay, Maddie. I hope that it's been as light as it can be. Rugby sevens is not a fat <laughs> game. I don't think any rugby is a fat man's game, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. I don't know much about rugby. I didn't grow up with a lot of sport. I grew up with basketball and dance and soccer. My brother did soccer. Actually, my little brother did rugby. I think he did union. I don't know the difference very much. <laughs> you were knackered up to 10. I mean, it's, it's, it's an intensive game. <laughs> Nothing to sniff at. So well done. Very proud of you for actually giving it a, a giving it a go and doing it. There we go. Every day is a dog fight. What were you gonna do? Put yourself in an emotional coma? To me, people need. Oh, you're sweet. Every day is gonna be a bit of a fight in one way or another, and it's it's completely up to you how you want to go about it. If you if you want to sit there and say "Well, is me?" and play, I don't say play the victim, you know. Some days are harder than others, hundred percent. But the next day is always gonna be a little bit better. It's up to you to set that. It's difficult. I've been in difficult situations many a times. Easier said than done. I get it. <laughs> but I believe in you. You can get through it and you can make the next day a little bit better and it may not be huge it you know you can um do just a little bit to make you feel a bit better buy yourself an iced coffee i love iced coffees you know get yourself a little treat to eat if you're motivated by food like me <laughs> i don't know put on a face mask something that makes you feel a little bit special the next day something it helps. It helps. It doesn't, you know, doesn't flip you 180 from like really depressed to the happiest person ever, but you know. You've always been to the gym. Lego, you've been productive this week. Look at your progress. Look at you go. I'm so proud. What did you do at the gym? How'd you go? Sure words. Thank you. I would definitely have snacks this stream. <laughs> That's next. You're sweet. Froggy! How 
are you? Welcome, welcome. I need to move this over here again, don't I? Still learning the things. And you guys will be proud of me. I actually uh, posted on everything this time. I posted in my Discord at a reasonable time. <laughs> I always forget to post in Discord. I post everywhere but, and I remembered threads. I'm on fire. Although I had to redo all of them again. Actually, when I first hit my first stream for tonight before I had technical difficulties, um, I hit live and I was just about to start typing in chat and I was about to start advertising myself everywhere. And um, <laughs> I started getting these pains when I inhaled and I was like, this isn't good. I'm about to, li I'm about to live stream, I'm about to stream, I'm about to go live. Um, I'm fine now. <laughs> I went to the bed, I stretched my back a bit, and I just released whatever was caught up. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Trying to good show. Thank you, thank you. I had to reopen. Yeah, I had to restart my whole, PC, my whole PC. So I've gone to every social media platform to put a new link for everyone because... Um, because of reasons. Why? Because I restarted my stream. Wow. It has been a long day for me. <laughs> I am keen to get some Hogwarts Legacy going. Oh, what is this? I should have my work laptop in front of me. I should move that. Get this out of my face. We are not working this weekend. Well, I am. I'm editing some YouTube videos this weekend. Are we excited? I am. I might I might do another Ripper Renos, but I do have another video that doesn't include my face. I'm tempted to do that instead because I don't want this thing on my face everywhere all the time. Live streams is fine. We get real here, you know. Oh, I can feel an eyelash or something in my eye. Again. I swear every time I stream it's an eyelash or a hair or something. Anywho. I know, my brain it just doesn't work, Froggy. Even on a good day. <laughs> the guards are trolling. They really are. They really are. I'm gonna be recording the guild's run through of the new Mega. Oh, Lego! That sounds like fun. I <laughs> stream. It really is. It gets jealous, you know? It's like, where's my attention? I need attention too. <laughs> Stupid thing. It is what it is. You know what else it is? It is Hogwarts time, and I'm so keen. We're gonna we're gonna do this way. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna unmute this bad boy. We're gonna open this bad boy. I'm gonna readjust myself a little bit. And <laughs> any Macca's snacks? You know what? Cinnamon actually went and got something, but I didn't want anything tonight. <laughs> Oh, we're starting the quest for the white gloves. Yes. Gothified gnome dragon. You have certainly intrigued me, Lego. And I'm keen to see it. Let me know if this music's too loud, buddy. BT dubs, by the way. But yeah, no Mac and snacks. Although I might be getting a donut later. I'll never see him gets his donut. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. That felt really loud and sort of echoed in my headset. That could just be a me problem. Have I tried the sugar-free drinks? I usually have, um... Mikey! Why is it foggy out here? Does my game need fixing? What on earth is going on? Is it just me? Am I going crazy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Um, I was going to say, I think I'm going crazy. <laughs> Might have seen my eyes. I put lashes on tonight, so <laughs> it's probably just my eyes. Um, sugar-free drinks. I normally go for like the Coke Zero, frozen, frozen Coke Zero is a drink of choice of mine. Those sugar-free drinks, or is there other ones that I haven't seen yet? Oh. What about now? Yeah. 
It's foggy. Okay. Thank you, Lego. I know it could be foggy. No, neither. That's why I was like, am I going crazy? Is it just me? <laughs> but there you go. Must have had an update recently. Wee. Let's go talk to ah, this lady. Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? You're looking right at her. Finally, thank the heavens. Yes. Where are we looking? Oh, Lego! I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that. Oh, show. Oh, the Sprite? Yeah, no. Sugar-free Sprite just doesn't taste good. Sugar-free Coke and stuff I can, I can get past. But the sugar-free Sprite, it's never been good. Never been good. Such disappointment. Why do these mortals drink stuff like that taste right? Although I do have the Coke Zero because I was going through um, some dieting stuff once upon a time and it actually tastes sweeter. I find Coke Zero and things is sweeter than the actual Coke. And I'm a sweet tooth. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh! Dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganweld potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to call your time. I like Sprite as long as it's not sugar free Sprite. <laughs> the only diet drink I've ever successfully drank and liked was Diet Pepsi. Pepsi Max I actually really like, and Pepsi Max Vanilla. It's sweeter than normal Pepsi. It's got a better taste, in my opinion. Do you bear with me? I get random pains and stuff in my face now. Good fun. I have some with me! I'm not gonna not go to somewhere. Thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon I love it just the before Aiden one. died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Hmm. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Do I care? Oh, we're nosy. Let's be nosy. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. Cute. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. So like in the stream the other day, did you? <laughs> I often try to lurk in his streams if I can. He streams way too late for me. Usually. Vanilla Coke is better than Sprite sugar free. 100%. I ordered Sprite, it was sugar free. Yeah, they're standard now at Macca's is sugar free. So annoying. Stop changing my Sprite, it's the only one I like. <laughs> Leave my sprite alone! Finally got like certified or whatever he was trying to do. Oh, nice! That's ex- oh, far out. That's excellent. Do you bear with me? It really hurts. 
Thank you, Mrs. Sprottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those horse Actual bumps. care voice stuff, I, was it? <laughs> and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. I think it's reasonable to want only my sprite. Stop changing my sprite or I'll speak to the manager. Absolutely. Absolutely. What is happening? Oh, I know what's happening. Oh, hold on a moment. Someone, me, disconnected my Ethernet cable. Let me fix that real quick. So we can have a nice, smooth, steady stream. I just noticed there was a warning that came up saying, Careful, uh, your connection's going a bit funky. Now I remember why. One sec. Okay, we're back. Let me fix this up and let me catch up. Had some interesting conversations. <laughs> interesting conversations about Halo and Star Wars. Do tell me more. <laughs> Nearly Sprite, we're drinking Sprite Cranberry. <laughs> I like it. I'm just, I'm really embodying the character, you know? I just really want to... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Leave Sprite alone, Froggy. It's perfect the way it is. 
It actually comes out here during the holidays. Oh, really? Maca shrink the burgers now. Now the drinks, what next? Meat-free burgers? Oh, don't give them ideas, Froggy. They're probably already working on something to compete with Hungry Jacks, you know? You know? Okay. Reconnect my internet. We should be good. Is that so, Lego? 7-Up, hey? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I've always been a Sprite fan. I haven't had 7-Up in ages. What house should I do next in Hogwarts? What have you done so far? You've done Ravenclaw. You've done Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, right? Or oh, Slytherin. Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Do Gryffindor. I haven't seen a Gryffindor playthrough. So I... I... Unless you've seen lots of Gryffindor, then do a Hufflepuff. You think so? I haven't had 7-Up in so long. I might have to get one again. You know what? I should do that. I should get, um... Do it on stream. I'll do a little taste test of, uh, different lemony fizzy drinks. <laughs> oh, you've only done Ravenclaw? Go Slytherin. Slytherin's fun. I say that. Actually, so far... So far, Hufflepuff's my favourite. Only because we get to go to Azkaban. <laughs> <laughs> Warning. Oh, okay. Ooh. So scared. It's over here. Rebellion. Anything exciting? No? Oh. I do love this, though. Oh, how does it reset? Oh. Haha! <laughs> cool. Azkaban was so fun. I really I want to look into getting some emotes and stuff for my um Are these enemies? Should I just do the enemies? Should I just do it? Let's just do it. Karen's in the mood. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Bing, bang, boom. There we go. That's what I wanted. Lovely. Easy. I don't agree with your Hufflepuff choice. I'm in fact amazed you haven't chosen the greatest house in Hogwarts. I know I haven't done Ravenclaw. In fact, not amazed. I'm in utter disbelief, right? R2D2, so. I know it's RDR2. <laughs> I've been calling R2-D2 for ages, so it's now R2-D2. If you've never played, I can't remember. I really want to play R2-D2. I really, really, really want to play Red Dead. Your boy is faster gun than the worst. You can't outrun. You just sound, like, incredible, Maddie. It's just good thing after good thing after good thing. Are you an Inferi? Oh, no, you're not. But I can sneak you over here and then go bang. Oh, ow! Was that an anvil? Oh, ouch. Oh, painful. Painful. So much pain. I was gonna say something. What did I say? Red Dead. Yes, it's on my list of things to play. So we're gonna finish, we're gonna start playing and then finish off Fable over on Twitch starting from next week. I know I've been delaying it a lot longer than I've been intending, but it's gonna happen. We're getting Fable next week, and then... Um, once we finish Fable 1, 2, and 3, hopeful. Me, rest in ten graves. Um, we're gonna play Fable, and then I've got R2-D2 on my list of things I wanna play. Cause it looks great! I think it's right up my alley. It's something that I'm really interested in playing. Where are these people? Bing, bang, bomb. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that. Can't talk about the moment it just happened without spoiling the game, but it's so good. It makes the last few chapters so intense. <gasps> oh, I want to play so badly. Also because horses. I mean, I'm a sucker for horses. I'm not a horse girl, but I'm a sucker for horses. Oh, this is fancy. I feel like I shouldn't be here. I'm the world's most savage bounty hunter. You cannot beat me, really. I make children online feel small and put them in their place. You would. My shotguns love to deal out kisses, and their favorite kiss is a kiss of death. Oh, goodness. Ooh. Ooh, a dugong. I mean, dugbog, whatever. Dugong, dugbog. Same thing, almost. Oh, look at me go. Don't mind if I... What is this? I don't know, but it looks pretty. <gasps> what have I discovered? I freaking love this game. It just goes on forever and ever, and it's always something to discover, and oh, it's so good. I love it. Beautiful. Revenia. Anything else of interest down here? No. Oh, I walked right past it. I see. Quidditch goggles. Nice. Well, let's go for an adventure, shall we? <gasps> I can't look it. I haven't had the names for my shotguns. I told them the girls Evangelina, I like that, and Esperanza. I love them. Evangeline always reminds me of Princess and the Frog. I love those names. I What's should investigate. Here? That's what we're doing, Karen. That is what we are doing. We are investigating. It better be freaking worth it if it's caught behind a, a door like Ooh. this. It's caught behind a... Ooh. My gear slots are what? Rude. Well then, let's just upgrade our thingies, our thingy things. Let's destroy this. If I actually had a daughter, I'd name her that. Would you? I think it's such a pretty name. 90, 60. We'll get rid of that one. Anything that's 60 go on and normally get rid of. Anything over 60 I try to hold on to. 200? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 90, 150. Dang, we've got some expensive stuff here. Oh, I didn't realize I had that in my bag. I actually don't mind that. Not for Karen, I just think it's cute. I like the corset. Big fan, big fan. Hats. You're 90, doesn't matter. I just want one more slot. Um, but we will be changing your glasses back to these. And we will be changing your outfit accordingly. No, I did not empty my inventory again. <laughs> Are we surprised? I was late to stream. That's nothing new. Ah, oh, more unidentified items. I need to go back to my room of requirements. So that I may... Identify the unidentified items. Oh, okay. So it's okay. It wasn't really worth my time. Whatever. Whatever. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Oh, where's your friend? Oh, here you are. Oh, I can't land. Let me land. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Bang, bang. Oh, I got both of them, hell yeah. Oh, 
Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, that was worthless. I don't know why I incendiated that guy. Ah! In the air. Look at me go. We're getting better. Getting better at this. Very much suits her. You love it? I love this. I think it's a good look. I think it suits her. I think it's a good Karen look. I'll take some of those. Thank you very much. I should know where we're going. Oh, like directly down here? Okay. What am I getting? Oh, I'm going to the cavern. I don't even know what I'm doing. That's where we're going. This is what this we're doing. This must be the cavern that Mrs. Throttle mentioned. <laughs> I got distracted by killing people. Alright, well then. What kind of muggles using that? Just fly. Fly like a bird, I can fly. I'm like a bird. I always say that wrong. But I still need to visit the cave to find Serona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll better have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. Isn't that why we're here? Don't ah, have to remind that's me. That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. You already gave them to her. We're just collecting for our own selfish reasons, silly. Silly lady. Now we're replenishing our own. Can I burn it? No. Oh, it does burn! Oh, that's exciting. That's what I needed to do. Where to come from? Where to go? I don't know where I'm going. And Lex and I developed a theory in Halo that John Wick is the original Spartan, also known as Spartan Wick. Well, now that—that that is an interesting take. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. Well, I guess you're fighting it. Oh, he's quite. Bang, 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 bang. There we are. Lovely. Let's grab some more of this. Go here, go bang. Oh, nice. Smack him with his own weapon, yeah? Smack all that together. Oh, ow! <laughs> Whoops, the daisies. That's what I wanted. Good night, I can. Oh, ouchies. Gritty's wife is in the AI. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. That was a close one. You finally watched John Wick Four. I need to watch John Wick Three so I can watch John Wick Four. How was the fourth John Wick? Tell me more. 
His wife is the AI in Master Chief's helmet. <gasps> You're starting to show me some similarities between uh, Mr. John Wick and Master Chief. I never thought of making a connection there at all. Thank you, Maddie. I'm trying. I'm trying to actually use all of my spells instead of just the four that I have on my original one. You know, it's difficult to get used to. Oh, I can't get out of that. Okay. There are a few things about John Wick Four you didn't like. Like what? I haven't watched it, and I'm I'm not one to care much for spoilers. <laughs> John Wick is just a fun action film. To me. I'm not spoil it for you, but you'll find out. Hmm. Oh! We found some letters. Dear Serona, when I arrived here, I had a trouble, troubling sense that in many ways I wasn't like the other first years. I confess I worried Hogwarts might not have been the proper place for me and pondered sending it out and my parents asked them to fetch me almost before the first week of classes had ended. What? Well, how did you know? I presume you're not secretly a... Legilimens? But I wondered, wonder that you seemed to know my thoughts better than I did myself. That day in the three broomsticks when you spotted me huddled in a corner staring blankly at an untouched butterbeer and an empty bit of parchment my quill dripping ink woefully onto the floor and you came to sit with me. Well, I shall never forget it. I recall a sudden sense of relief, as if someone had cast a levitation charm on me, when you told me about how nervous you'd been to come to Hogwarts. I looked at you and it seemed beyond my imagination to think of you as anything but the confident, contented witch sitting before me. In the days that followed, I marveled at how you charmed in the non-magical sense. I mean... In the non-magical sense, I mean, everyone around you without apology, embracing who you were and who they were. It was as though a candle had flickered on for me. I realised that I could choose a path, that path as well. It's all a choice. Now that my school years are ending, the frightened first year which I had been seems worlds away, and I know it's because you saw yourself in that despairing creature in the corner of the pub and so generously extended yourself to her. Yours sincerely, Mirabelle. P.S. Please tell Mrs. Spottle that I still plan on visiting her and Mr. Sprottle whenever I can for their delightful conversation and I am unashamed to admit her incomparable cauldron cakes. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, we've got more. Dear Serona, I conjured this wee gift for you as a token of my gratitude. If you hadn't stood your ground on my behalf during Quidditch practice last week, I might have left the team altogether. And now you've won the Quidditch Cup. Ravenclaw House would not be the same without you. Yours sincerely, Sean. My face is not healing. <laughs> Although my um, appointment with my um, I'm getting notifications. Um, so I have to get a plastic surgeon to cut it out. It's a sebaceous cyst for those that are wondering. Um, and I'm going overseas on the 5th of August in like three weeks. <laughs> um, so I don't have much time. Anywho, long story short, um, they called me yesterday to say that they can move up my appointment. So I have a consultation on Monday and I'm hopeful that they can do something about it sooner than later because it needs to get cut out. I can't, I've been taking antibiotics and they've been doing absolutely nothing. So I have a consultation on Monday and then goodness knows how long it's going to be until they can actually get me in for an appointment and it's getting worse. The past few days have been really, really sore. And today has been the sorest out of all of them, which is which sucks, but it is it is what it is. I'm just hoping that they can squeeze me in to get me in sooner. But thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not great. It's frustrating more than anything, but I'm glad they were able to move me up by about a week and a bit. Goddamn right, the Quidditch Cup breaking <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Dear Serona, I've sent a note separately to dear Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle for their hospitality, but felt the need to put quill to parchment to, with my thanks to you as well. What a lovely respite from the castle. I won't soon forget how we giggled about that ridiculous gnome. Did he truly believe that he was singing? And Mrs. Sprottle's steak and kidney pie was simply glorious. I shall be dreaming of it for days. 
I so appreciate you including me. I fear I must warn you, however, that this does not mean I will go easy on you in next week's match. You know that Ravenclaw is no match at all for Slytherin this year. Most gratefully yours, Philonoma. Phil Philonoma? Philomena. Look at this, Maddie. Did you write all of these? <laughs> All of these Ravenclaw Quidditch matches and how good Ravenclaw is compared to the other houses. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if they've been, uh, they've been looking at your messages. This must be Serona's box of letters. Dear Serona, happy birthday, my darling friend. I sneaked into the kitchens and asked Finky to make your favorite cream crowdy. She was delighted to oblige. Not sure where she got raspberries at this time of year. Genius, that Finky. Best. Hope you can get this fixed. Have your wound to get a fast operation. Yeah. It's so frustrating. But hopefully, hopefully it'll be quick. It's just, it's literally they just need to like cut under here or something and then pull it out. It's just, it's like a, it's like a little sack I guess of stuff <laughs> I don't don't even know what's in it but it hurts um but that's all it is and once I take it out it shouldn't come back which would be ideal apparently it can be caused by stress but it just one of those things that happens it doesn't really it's not caused by anything in particular there are lots of things that could cause it but it just happens and it's just frustrating because it hurts <laughs> Hopefully they can get it done quick. Hopefully they can shift some other appointments around and get me in sooner. That would be ideal. Assist in the face, yeah. Yep. It's frustrating, but it is what it is. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. I'm sure she would be. Dear Mrs. Sprottle, Mother and Father were delighted to hear that you and I had spent the afternoon at Glad Rags last Saturday. Truth be told, I think my mother was ever so slightly envious. I shan't soon forget how heartily we laughed at my efforts to lace the bodice of my new dress. A challenge indeed. As is the rather delicate practice of properly situating a hat pin without wounding either my hat or my head, but I adore everything that we selected. And I have you to thank for now feeling like a marvelously fashionable witch. Oh, I love. It was also a treat to dine at the three broomsticks without having to clear the tables. I shall own a place like that one day. Mark my words. I consider myself more than lucky that you and Mr. Sproddle agreed to let me stay. I know that my parents feel precisely the same way. Yours gratefully, Serona. That's really cute. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad that's to have That's Cap Slytherin. Slytherin, really. <laughs> that house is mid. Oh! <gasps> That letter is a developer mistake. Slytherin is what? So rude. Get out. Get out of my chat. <laughs> Don't. I'm kidding. Yeah, Cinnamon's doing great. He's being very sweet about it. He's very helpful. He's going to come with me to my consultation on Monday. So we'll see how that goes. Roll his sleeves up and go, oi, if you don't do it, if you don't deal with it sooner than later, we're gonna have a stronger than words. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> I did. Loud and clear. I'm gonna threaten you with something, but I have nothing to threaten you with. <laughs> I can pretend, but I've, I've actually got nothing to threaten you with. <gasps> what are those? Oh, no thank you. Slice a frozen enemy. What is this? This looks fun. Oh, it's like a... it's a... Upper, Hog, upper Hogsfield? Have I been here before? I've been here before, right? <laughs> Come on now, be brave, Slytherin. I'm not, though. Definitely not brave. <laughs> I'm everything but. Pavelia. What is this? Pumpkin fizz. Pumpkin fizz is a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor. It has yet to become as popular here as butterbeer, but no one ever knows. Oh. Delectable. Out we hop. Interesting. 
Anything in here? Thank you. Relaxed garb. Lovely. Look at all these chests. Don't mind. Oh, I have to go around. How rude. Oh, Quidditch goggles that aren't worth it. Lovely. Oh, I can sell stuff here, though. Oh, I do appreciate you've made up a Hogsfield safer. And for ah. that, I thank you. You're welcome, I suppose. Oh, we're going to wait for that one. We're going to put that one on. We'll sell all of these. I do. One thing that I love about Hogwarts Legacy is that I can sell my things anywhere. I don't have to go to a clothes Thank shop. I don't have to go to a potions shop or whatever for specifically. Just anyone will buy anything, which I love. No, we're going to go to a couple of... Oh! I just gave you my money? Rude. Not even doing anything impressive. Uh, maybe it is. I don't know. I'm a fake witch. Can I get in here? Oh, I have to go around this way. I can't see nothing. Can I get through here, please? Wow, I can't even like. Oh. Thank you for all that you've done for us. You're welcome. Oh, I can unlock this one. Probably better the other way. Whatever. I could have said that you were less like Hufflepuff or irrelevant, like Gryffindor. <laughs> you know, a lot of people thought I was a Hufflepuff. I do give off quite Hufflepuffian vibes, I feel. Just how good of a Slytherin I am. Ooh, we're getting closer to some white gloves. Is there one more in here somewhere? No, it's outside. Okay. But I will take some of these, please, and thank you very much. Mid is it? Oh, I thought mid wasn't a good was it was it bad. Like, you know, middle of the road. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I was going to say poltergeist. They're not poltergeist. What are they called? The moon thing. Demi guys. Still trying to learn all this Gen Z lingo. Fine now, Demi guys. There it is. Thank you very much. And I'll take a bit of this too. It's been a long trip, you know. Need to keep our fluids up. Where's, there it is. Oh, it's outside. I was looking for that bag. Not sure I said in the highest of houses. Fair enough. <laughs> you can make room for the snakes. We work well together. You tell us what to do and we'll sneak around and get it done. You're very cunning. Good at manipulating. <laughs> Where is... here we go. Is this a chest that they're talking about? I don't want that. I want this. Thank you very much. I'm trying to find... oh it's here. Oh mid is okay. I'm like, I thought mid was bad. I don't know. You could have told me it was a great thing and I'd be using it as like, a, hey that's... <laughs> I would be using it as a good thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know this lingo. I only found out the other day what Riz meant. I assumed it was a good thing, but I didn't know what it actually was. <laughs> Ooh, I like these handles that I'm coming across. Very nice. Do you? Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. She just said that. 
I assumed it was a good thing. If you're saying you're putting the Riz on, on someone, I assume it was a... I didn't know it meant charisma. But I assumed it meant like, you know, flirting and impressing, courting. Other synonyms of the like. Oh, ouch. Beautiful. Get over here, quick smart. Is this a fast way to get here? I hope so. Oh, going back into the butter beer. Three broomsticks. I knew what I meant. Means all those things: flirting, charming, charisma, all that. Yeah. With the context it was given, I understood the meaning of it. I just didn't know that I, that it meant it was short for charisma. My people are shortening more than needed. We've done it. We've done it for years. Especially millennials. We were good at that. We had our own slang and our own lingo. Although cap and no cap's an interesting one. Oh. I thought I got this one out of here. The Three Broomsticks, currently run by Serona Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself. The Three Broomsticks is the longest standing is a long standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butter beer or fire whiskey. Love it. Such a nice spot here. Hello, Serona. Hello, Serona. I, I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Swattle with some hawk clumps for her Wigan World potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. Yeah, we're feeling nosy. Good luck with that in the workplace. <laughs> I highly doubt that they would. Actually, I've been seeing some great ones. There are some, you know, Gen Z's obviously in the workplace, and they've been signing off um, some emails like, I'd rather not be here, Peter Tiffany. Um, unkind regards, Peter Tiffany. <laughs> I think it's just to the people that they know in inside. Um, internally like to their work friends and stuff but i think it's funny they're very creative i must say i couldn't do it i'm way too like i have to say kind regards or i you know a lot of boomers and stuff say cheers i don't like cheers either it sounds way too informal it's fellow millennial it's because we have more important things to say not enough time in the day to just say them yeah i know we've been saying them for, we've been shortening things for years and Aussies are the worst, let's be honest. We shorten things all the time. <laughs> Maccas instead of McDonald's or Mickey D's is another one. Um, what else have we got? There's a lot of things that we do. Oh, servo instead of service station. <laughs> yeah, well, <he> does me. <laughs> I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. Do but it doesn't need need a book of terms. <laughs> No, that's true, that's true. There are some words, I'm trying to think, there's some that I grew up with, but I don't remember what they are now. I mean, YOLO was a big one. Actually, hashtags got me for a long time, because I wasn't really online or on social media, and I started seeing memes pop up, and there was one that was hashtag YOLO. I didn't really know what YOLO meant, I didn't know what a hashtag was, so I was like, number YOLO, but YOLO's not a number. <laughs> this was back in early high school. I had no idea. Grew up and I found out what they all meant, but... <laughs> I grew up with it. <laughs> you did! Mini book of terms. Yeah, can you... <laughs> um, Urban Dictionary is really good at it. But I need to find, like, you know, what words are the kids using these days? And just have a list of that and what they mean. Cap and no cap, I've, I think I've got my head around. 
I don't use them myself, but I understand if people are talking. Riz, I know now. Oh, there's a YouTube video that has a... Um, book for the mortals. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I feel so old. God, I feel old now. <laughs> um, there are some millennials that identify as zillennials because they're Gen Z. They're like in the middle. They sort of fit in with both. Um, oh, it's stinging. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, Brett Cooper and Ben Shapiro. And Brett Cooper, I think she's like millennial Gen Z, sort of in that sort of, I don't know, I want to say 2000, somewhere around there, probably baby. Um, but she... She had like a one on one with Ben Shapiro and went through like a lot of Gen Z lingo and Ben had to guess it. I learnt a lot. There were some that I was like, yeah, I think I've heard that. I know what it is. I know what this means and blah, blah, blah. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> You're one of those. Are you? You're born in 1985? God, you could have fooled me. Yeah, you definitely sound like a zillennial. <laughs> <laughs> Crush it. I step down from the clouds. Ah, of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> you could have fooled me. I thought you were Gen Z all the way. Just the way that you spoke. I was like, sorry, not the way you spoke. The way you spoke didn't feel Gen Z. The lingo you knew and used in conversation. <laughs> Maybe think you were Gen Z. But Selenio does make sense for sure. <laughs> Froggy. <laughs> So you were born in the late 1900s then. I gotta say, I hate hearing that. <laughs> I'm like, don't say that, I feel so old. <laughs> 1900s, ugh. How rude. <laughs> One of the letters mentioned Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw seeker for three years. Oh, that's so Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. Do you relate to this, somebody? I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. Hmm. It's Mirabel, Professor Garlic. I oh. saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind. Especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, <laughs> but particularly one who doubted they ever would. It's Ravenclaw fast, obviously. Obviously. Of course. Aw, Mirabel wasn't was wanted to leave Hogwarts early, but she stuck through. Oh, that's so sweet. I love Professor Garlic, but he doesn't. He doesn't love Professor Garlic. If anyone doesn't like Professor Garlic, you better tell me now, because I'm curious who doesn't love her. She's got such a warm feeling to her. She makes me so happy. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. True. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. Well, she doesn't tell you that in those letters it's not mentioned, but it was actually a love triangle between themselves myself and them oh <gasps> maddie the truth comes out they had to keep that hidden i mean they can't they can't show you to the world just yet can they i'm glad <laughs> i could be of help but fair enough mrs sprottle sends her best don't know what i'd have done without her and aiden thank you again for helping her and for returning this box of letters, it's nice to reflect on good memories. 
I had to hide it. Well, I guess I don't want to get Ravenclaw's best in uh, any any kind of um. Is that outside this quest? I did. I thought <laughs> I thought you were because the way you spoke sounded older, but you knew lingo. I guess Selenial is a good way to put it. You spoke with lingo. It's not just you knew it. We also speak older than I would expect a uh, Gen Z to speak. I know a few Gen Zers, and they don't speak like you. <laughs> it was honestly. It was only when you said you're going to put the Riz on. It was a mistake parting ways with me. And then when I when you said you were gonna put the riz on garlic, that I went, are you? Maybe. In case there are any Gen Zs in the chat, a lot of streamers are so. Are there? I've got adults. I've got all. I've got old people in my chat. <laughs> but I love them. It's so fun. I don't think I have any Gen Zs in my chat. Maybe laxed. Ah, uh, I have. I think well, two or fixing. three. A charm grinder. But they're really there. <laughs> you did too, Froggy. It's purely because you you know and have used the lingo in chat. Me, Lego. I'm calling me old. I'm the oldest one here. <laughs> You'll never know my age. Now you've got genuine people in your chat. I do. 100%. I'm the oldest one here and you'll never know my age. I use a lot of creams and stuff. You'll see it was a mistake. This, this is what happens when um me. my witch potions start wearing off. So um yeah. You've heard of the witch's moles, right? I'm twenty one. Legit. Is that your final answer? <laughs> you do realize that gods know all languages. Yes. Well they should. What quest have you got for me, sir? Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. Mm. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. Mm. I'll show him volatile. <laughs> Guy's a D bag, almost didn't help. He is, isn't he? I mean, oh, I've never seen him before in my life. Oh, okay. Now, I must say, today Karen woke up on the wrong side of the bed. So we've got to keep that in mind. She's looking for a fight. She's looking for something bad to do, right? Instantly on his side. Instantly on his side. That must have been frustrating mm -hmm, for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Fair enough. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? It's a cake eater. Committing some grand... Well, you got her at a good time. Uh, I must say. Oh, you have an option? Mm. No, we didn't care details. She just wants to go... Fight. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. <laughs> I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, it's I just need that I've heard of cake tentacular. eater. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. Well, lucky for you, it shows us right on the map. This must be it. And how it just opens up for you. Okay. 
I'd love a game like Hogwarts Legacy, but instead of the houses, you pick which of the schools you're from. <gasps> the schools would be interesting. That would be interesting. I'd love to see them and experience them. Yeah. No, I love that idea. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Can I Petrificus Totalis him just so that he's like knocked out? Not to kill him? Are we experimenting? Do we dare? I think we dare. Oh! I guess not. Stop! Plan Bandit! Plan Bandit! <laughs> Means doesn't like to get his hands steady. Oh! Yes! I've heard that reference. I don't hear it often. So I forgot. But yes, thank you. For the explanation. And it makes sense. No. It really puts the image in your head, I think, cake eater. Which then makes me want to eat cake. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. I like to get my hands dirty either. I like to sit up with the queen and drink tea. You can't see me. Hello, Nora. We got up there that I just felt it? No, that's something else. Very old soul. <laughs> what could be stuck? Oh! Bandit. It just appears out of nowhere. How rude. That was a personal attack, that one. So rude. I'm the same, Maddie. I too am too I'm an old soul. He keeps walking away, picking a lock. Ah rude. Alright then. See me. Wait, why are you moving now? Last time I was here, you did nothing. Sneaky, sneaky. Where are you? Okay, you're going that way. You go over there. We have fun. We're gonna be here. Hello, Amora. Don't mind me. Ah, oh, so excited for the weekend. Well, it's Friday night for me anyway. Where is that venomous tentacular? La 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 Oh, we can steal stuff too, can't we? Why not? Why not? Karen's feeling unnecessarily mean today. Oh, I forgot I had her arachnophobia off. <laughs> no, it's more fun with it on. Oh, glad. I meant glad. <laughs> I'm glad that it's the weekend. I bit my cheek um, the other, I think yesterday, and I had to be careful when I talk because if I move my jaw, my teeth too close together, my wisdom tooth is coming through, and it's like right there. So I might, <laughs> I might be lisping a little bit. But I'm glad that it's the weekend. Very happy about it. Where is it? No, we're not doing that one. Ah, here it is, arachnophobia. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Understandable. Understandable. They impart no wisdom upon us anyways. I know! Such a scam. And I have all four too, not everyone's born with all four wisdom teeth. So I think this one's going to start coming up soon, but this one's already broken the surface and it's halfway through. <sighs> Such a pain. Well, it's also a pain. <laughs> like painful. But it's also, uh, yeah, just generally a pain. Come over here. Oh, that was easy. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't realize that you were right there. That's terrifying. Ah! Oh, they're horrifying. Whoops. 
the daisies. Where's the other one behind me? Where are you? Hello? No digging for you, sir. But I will burn you a little bit. Bang! Easy. Oh! Uh oh. Where are you? Hello. I'm gonna read the chat. Fire, string, and a door. Sort it. <laughs> I got my molars taken out so that my wisdom teeth can come through. Your wisdom teeth actually requires good surgery. There is two runs deep. My molars came out so my wisdom teeth can come into that space. Because my wisdom teeth were too long by the time I went to get them out. I can treat my molars if you want. <laughs> my my dental surgeon was very impressed. Because he's never he's never seen molars that big before. <laughs> my appointment was for I think two hours or something. I got five um five fillings done at the same time. I have great teeth. Um, but I got five fillings done at the same time. So I was put on a general an anesthetic. And my appointment ran 43 minutes longer than it needed to because they couldn't get my wisdom teeth out. They were like there, like over the table, like trying to yank it out. <laughs> and apparently afterwards, um, he got a wisdom teeth and was going around the office going, check these out, they're huge. Yeah. They were big enough to bruise my nerves around my, around my jaw. And even the dental surgeon saw my x-rays and he went, I don't feel comfortable getting the wisdom teeth out because they're already touching the nerves in your jaw and there's a chance I could actually tear your nerves and you'll have permanent numbing for the rest of your life. And I went, molars are coming out. <laughs> Am I hopeful, hoping that the wisdom teeth will find their way through? Am I wiser? I, I wish I was. I definitely can't string words together. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Revelio. But yeah, and I've still, I've still got my, still got my molars. We also decided to take the molars out because I had like three fillings in one molar or something, and we thought we'll just get new, let the new teeth come through, Incendio. and just look after those and not worry about the ones that already have fillings in it. No point getting rid of fresh new um, new teeth if we don't have to perhaps you're not more of ever you're a titan I may be I may be yeah. I have quite a fascinating body whenever if you massage my shoulders in the right spot I'll get like really strong goosebumps my body is like cut in half, so if you massage this shoulder down my arm and my leg and the side of my body, I'll get goosebumps. And if you massage this side, I'll do the same. You need to hit the right spot. It's the weirdest thing. It's so fascinating. Human body is incredible. Thank you. I have a donut. Yum yum yum. Next I have what? Maybe hypersensitive. I am. I am hypersensitive for sure. Anyone anyone that knows me will tell you. Very energetically connected to the world around me. Very sensitive. I can I can do ASMR if that's if that's what you're wanting. Would you be interested in ASMR? Actually, there's a lady that does ASMR that I've been watching on Instagram, and it's been really satisfying to watch. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be an ASMR person, but. There you go. It's not the normal sort of ASMR. It's um... Oh, I'm not here sir. I don't know what you're talking about. But it's certainly not about me. 
Why can't I activate my thingy? Rude. Do you bear with me while I focus on this real quick? Beautiful! Look at me go. We're amazing. We're just amazing. Had a rough micro- You lost your house! <gasps> Lego! Oh my god! <laughs> no, no, Minecraft, Maddie. <laughs> oh my god, what a pay! What happened? Sleeping out ASMR, shiny ASMR, rose ASMR. Oh! I'm intrigued about it because the girl that I watch, or she comes up on my Instagram feed, I end up following her. She does um, visual and audio ASMR. I don't know. I mean, she's pretty, which helps, but. <laughs> it's very. I find her a really nice break from the stuff that I. Um, in my scrolling, like she'll shine a light she'll say look at the light look at my nose look at my fingers look at my fingers look at the light look at my nose and like you know what color is this what color is this like flashcards and things and i was like oh i don't know something about it just sort of click something in my brain i love it i love her content i haven't seen a lot really maddie <laughs> I love it. I found it really soothing, a nice little break. I'm exploring, took three too many left turns. Oh, Lego, my condolences. It's the worst. I had to save it, recreate the world. Go to here, I recognize, I started digging. I'll go to where I recognized. I say the coordinates and go back to the original one. Oh my gosh, Lego. What an absolute pain. I have a list. I was starting to build a Minecraft world. I should bring it up sometime. Maybe I'll play that on stream at some point. Some point. I have so many things I need to stream, but... Where's my list? I had a list of places that I started building. I was like, I'm not going to lose these because I've lost my houses before. I think I've actually lost a house on the world that I started recording these on. Um, oh, where is it? Oh, if I lost that paper, I'm going to be so sad. It was really safely kept, you know, just a piece of paper that I had lying around. Um, I think it might be in the other box. That's alright. Anywho. Um... Yeah, so that um, I didn't lose them because I started building a lot of them. I was building a house for each biome. I've got an underwater house, my favorite one, my proudest create, my proudest creation. As an empath, when they do that, I can feel the sounds, which is understandable, completely understandable. If you get to the right, I don't know. It's the other one that I found that I I actually like. A lot of the other ones, I don't like them as much. I don't understand it. I think it's just because it's more of a visual ASMR. It shows more... Those sorts of sounds. It's a bit more gentle. It's not all whispering and that stuff. For me yet? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. And it's that clicking oh. that kind of... Wish I could see Lordy's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. Let's see who's volatile now. He's so petty. Well Hilarious. I'll take it off your hands now. Not for a price, thank you very much. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Thank you. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Um. Thank you again for your help. Me? I suspect you have a bright future. Five hundred gold. Thank you very much. I'll take that. All right. I want to go to. I'm going to go to Hogwarts because I want to go to the Room of Requirement. Oops. I don't want the waypoint. I want to travel there. 
Why didn't I travel? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Trust me. No more hypersensitive, are you? Oh, what a pain. Does it annoy you? Does it ever frustrate you? Being hypersensitive to things is annoying enough. Having that on, like, turn up to 20, if not more. I'd hate that. I would hate that. Deke? Oh. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. I do. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Hmm. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have hmm. been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. Mm -hmm. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I come and find Deke when I'm ready to go. I want to identify some gear. Ooh, some of these are actually useful. That's great. I wasn't expecting any of them to be useful. I can feel characters in movies. I do that too. I can feel their emotions. Yeah, I can understand where you're coming from with that. Honestly, I think it's part of the reason that I got interested in acting. Just because I could feel the emotion and the connection that I had with them and how it moved me. And I wanted to bring more of that to the world. Especially ones that can connect like that. I don't think not everyone can connect in the same sort of way, but... Oh, this one's even better. Ooh, this is not a bad Karen dress. I'm impressed that we came across this. <gasps> We have a new outfit for our Karen. We will get her some more purple as time goes on, but I like it. So I can basically mimic them, become them. Yeah, yeah. Become another person. If you've seen Master of Disguise, you will understand. It's a great movie. A lot of people are like, eh, it's alright, I guess. I actually haven't seen it in a while. It probably doesn't hold up as well as it used to. Because <laughs> of my gifts, it requires me to actively block out the things I don't want to feel. Yeah. No, that's, that's completely understandable. Another reason why I like doing... um, I like doing acting. Because I'm able to feel the feelings I need to feel while I'm there. And then I let it go. I feel the feels and then I let it go. <laughs> Am I not dull enough for this little club? I actually learned how to make that sound from watching that. Very much a watch and doer. Someone's like, oh, I can do this trick. I'm like, oh, I wonder if I can do that trick. I do the trick and I'm like, huh, I can do that trick. <laughs> I think I'm going to have an old school Disney. Oh, like you should. Uh... It took a lot of time, Maddie. It's it's hard to not let go. But acting trains you. <laughs> I have been trained to let go of the feelings. Cause you have to. Otherwise it can be, you know, there are people that do method acting and they go down a very, very difficult path if they don't have control over it early. Lots of tra tragedies from um have happened over the years 
Lego, what kind of old school Disney are we going? I need to know because I've been inspired to rewatch so many films lately. Hercules has been a big one at the moment. My greatest fear that one day my gift might be the death of me if something horrific happens. Keep doing what you need to do. Put yourself first. Be gentle with yourself. The fact that you're already aware of... I don't want to see your issues. They're not struggles. Habits? Because you're already pretty self-aware, I think it'll be easier for you to be able to go, Ooh, okay, this is hitting me pretty hard. I need to reach into my toolbox and do something, you know? Not to hear it, so I'll try to help someone who's in great deal. Yeah. Yeah. You sound self-aware though, which to me helps. The self-awareness is useful. Fantasia, Aristocats, Mwah. I loved that movie growing up. Oh, I love, 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 love. Lion King, beautiful. Hercules, love it. Aladdin, ah, oh. So Lego, where, where do you live and can I join you? <laughs> that sounds like such a beautiful lineup and I am keen to join. <laughs> Where's Romeo? Where is Romeo? Probably on my bed. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's gone to the couch, actually. It's not in me to refuse them. No. And it, it's difficult when you're in, in that situation. I trust in you, though. I believe. I believe that you'll be able to help them and be able to... Afterwards or during it, work through yourself. You have blankets and snacks. Oh, what snacks? Oh, I want snacks now. I'm actually gonna go fill a water bottle though. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> I won't be long, I promise. I won't be long.
popcorn, cheese and onion crisps, breadsticks and dip. <gasps> like I'm coming over. I don't care what you say. I'm coming over. We're going to sit down. We're going to watch Disney movies together. I'm going to eat all of your snacks before you have a chance to smell any of them. Because <laughs> I love snacks. I want to be here otherwise. Like I said, there are times where I could have been a villain because of crazy things that happened. It's true. Also, my sense of right and wrong when I was younger. Especially when I was younger because I was less guarded then. That's fair enough. But you've... I was really ahead. I was... <laughs> um... Oh, come on, brain. You got this. But you've become the hero, not the villain. And I think that is huge. I think you should be very proud of that. And I think that should help you feel um, more confident that even when things get tough and you get too not sensitive connected to people that you'll be able to come out on top and without it affecting you too much if you know what I mean only one creature on R2-D2 I don't like hunting. Bison, really? Makes me feel so bad to hunt them, really? I try not to kill people's horses when I'm hunting them. Oh, when you're, <laughs> when you're hunting people? Bounty hunting? Fair enough. If you don't shoot horses, bad form. 100%. R2-D2 is your me time game? I think that's a great idea. And soft drinks of your choice? <gasps> And Lucy, of course. I'll just I'll just go for Lucy and snacks. I mean, <laughs> if you say it's going to be a kitty cat that'll probably cuddle me, and you give me food, I'm there. Uh, as long as it's not a horror film, if it was horror movies. I would actually that would be enough to push me away. You bring the Sprite Cranberry, actually Cranberry, Sprite and red wine is really good together. If you have a cup like this much. You can put like this much red wine and the rest Sprite. It tastes like pink lemonade. Mwah. I've been having it since I was like seven. <laughs> so good. You're right. Does what happened to me last year, you could have maybe become the villain. I almost did. I almost didn't survive it. And you did. You did. And I'm proud of you. It's hard. It's hard when you get into those situations. Absolutely. I haven't experienced it in the same form as you, but the fact that you've come out the other end a hero, not a villain, I think is a true testament to your natural deep down character, which overrules everything. You have to try the trick of Titans. Maybe that's why my Molars were so big. <laughs> That's why I'm so strong. Oh, Maddie. I'm glad that you're okay now. I hope. And if you ever fall back into that, I'm going to have a word with you. Very harsh words. You'll be in big trouble. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm glad that you're okay now. <laughs> I won't be angry with you, Maddie. I'm never I'm never going to be mad at someone for being in a bad place. I'll be supportive and say it'll get better. And you'll come out the end of the week better. And just be patient with yourself and love yourself. I feel like the more that you're patient and careful of yourself, the better you get. It's not a linear process. <laughs> Healing is not linear. There are so many times where I dip. I've gone through a lot of shit in my life. It just is what it is. Um, 
But you need to be patient with yourself. It takes time. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deep lobs are now taken. No worries, Froggy. We'll see you next week. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you so much for hanging out. You're appreciated. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. That Take was a care. Dark time Thank you for being life. here. I really appreciate he your support. So, so wonderful. The cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Well, it was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Hmm. I'll use it for good. Oh, these things are we so cute. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskins nearby. The puffle It'll of puffskins. It will be puff nice skins. to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puffskin, and in it'll go. All right. Easy. Uh, couldn't repair many things. Oh, where are we? This way. <laughs> really a bit odd, DLC. I hope so too. Huzzah! You got one. I got one. Oh, and it's a pink one. It's so cute. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff schemes and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, what not kind of all DLC beasts would you want will be as simple to rescue as a puff scheme. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Oh. How far away is it? Ah, oh, too far for me to walk. I mean, my lazy legs will fly. Why is it that music? Patronus charm? Yes. If you would like to have a pet. Yeah, no, that's true. I'd love a companion. I think that would be so sweet. Oh, nice. Oops. Knock him off. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. If you had the a pet out of a toad, an owl, or a cat, tree. which one would you choose if as your helpful, companion? Deke has seen or a rat. Used to slow flying beasts. Rat, to toad, owl, cat. And use the knapsack. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, oh. it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Levioso, okay. Then I shall go and rescue a Jobinol. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. I'll thoroughly enjoy using some of the gadgets from the movie. Yeah. Really changed the entire look of the one. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> um, a rat. Rats are pretty smart. Apparently. Oh, these ones. Oh, I love these. Oh, they're so pretty. They are so pretty. Can I get another one? 
You female, you're another blue one though. Another color. I want like a pink one or like a. I don't know, a green one. The colors are just so vibrant, you know? They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I have a male. They've got a male. And a pink puff skin, so cute. So cute. Where are the other juggernauts? Hmm. They're all blue. I don't want a blue one, I want a pink one. Whoop. Oh. Guess I scared him all away. That's all right. Got one. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one. Would have been owl. Of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing Actual of trees guess off now. this owl. footpath. Deke will see you there. Oh, more? Where are we going? How far? Ah, 161. Way too far. I actually know where this is. I think I've been here before. Let me activate this one. Resource indeed, your field guide. Thank you. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. That is correct. Ah, oh, there's no way I have a play carrier. <laughs> I that's, that's that's fair enough. I love owls, I think, and they're practical. They're wise and practical. Moon cast is so easy to catch, they're so cute. Settle yourself, I mean you no harm. Maybe a little bit of harm. No, I'm kidding, never. The animals it are too It was a cute. bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, yeah. safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvellous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. Okay. Right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Okay. Grand DLC would You know, I don't mind the idea of a Patronus. And I love the companion idea. I think companion would be so fun. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't really thought about DLC. Honestly, I'm not good at thinking about DLC. We. I should just go with the map, hey. So much easier than trying to fly into it. Oh, does this have a door somewhere? Can I get in here? No. Ah, oh, no, no door. Okay. Never mind then. Really? There's no sneaky, easy place that I can get to from up here? Rude. 
Let's put that guy here. If they ever made an actual online community like Red Dead style, it'd be cool to send someone a holler. Mmm. That would be interesting. I don't really understand. Well, okay, I haven't played a lot of games that have that sort of. that have that feature where you can go online as well. Similar to Elden Ring kind of idea. But I think Red Dead is similar. Um, I think that could be cool. Could be interesting. Can you turn that off though? Can you play it as just a single game without... Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, can you turn that stuff off? Because if you can, then I'm all for it. I feel like it would get annoying, personally, for myself. There you are. Here now, I am. We need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. But um Oh wizard's chest would be great. Here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. A wizard chest DLC Perhaps or something would be a lot of fun. Need, the room will provide. Oh, focus. What do our beasts need? Focus, focus. <laughs> it's hmm. so cute. What exactly did you think of? I don't know. Greenhouse? Heavens! Heavens indeed! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. This is true. Meet you, know you inside it. when you're ready. Oh, I'm so excited. Sending someone a howler would be very funny. Or using that as like tips and tricks throughout the game. Or if you could have like pre made howlers, I guess. And whoever finds it first gets to Where see are it. We, it seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Hmm. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Oh. Beasts can be rescued in the highlands. Let's add them all. Oh, it's so cute. Look <laughs> at the big eyes. Oh, my oh. favorite. Oh, look. <sighs> Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only oh, hope we'll no. have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so, too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. Excuse me? If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very Thank well. You. I shall let you know when I have some. Super cool to create your own potions. Yeah, yeah. No, that would be cool. I reckon that'd be fun having all those sort of mini games and things. Oops, wrong button. Oh dear, Deke thinks perhaps you didn't know Deke was near. Wonderful. Hmm, so cute. Where's the... Oh, there he is. Oh, just randomly? Sure. Unicorns in the dark forest. Okay, well, I must have a look, of course. Where's the... Oh, there's a job and all. Oh, 
There you go. Yeah, she's hard to find, isn't she? I remember her being very difficult to find. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, they're adorable. Where's Kofsky? There you are. Oh, look at it. Oh. <laughs> it's so freaking cute. Look at it, little bit. Oh. oh, I love it. All the movies are so cute when you make them. Are they? I never got to. Ah, oh, I got to breeding the Thestrals when they were during the teaching phase. I'll give you one more spell wheels because having to change out all that stuff is annoying. Yeah, I agree. It's not too bad once you get your what you want and you have it on all four. It's pretty good. <clears throat> I said have it on all four. Do I have oh I have talent, I can upgrade it. Good. Because it makes such a huge difference. There we go. I usually have two set. A specific room of requirement would be nice. For sure. Especially with all these ones, the conjuring and all that. Yeah, I get it. I understand. Um, is there anything else that I can sneak? Let's do a room requirement one, shall we? Maybe, I don't know. I'll leave it like that for now. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, hmm. making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Do you Why use this you much? I think it's such an annoying thing to do. Can do. I'll go and experiment Whoops. with the loom now. I tried to put back my um my chat because I was checking on something. <laughs> And I accidentally minimized all of my screens. <clears throat> you can't use those spells anywhere else. Yeah. Oh, it's just changing spells. Yeah, no, I, I agree. If there was one that we could just have for the room requirement. Purely for those three that you don't use anywhere else. <laughs> but I'm using it a little. Basically changed all of my stuff to enhance the curse. Ah. Fair enough. I love this. I love that it's like this whole archway and you can see into your place. It's so smart, but they've still got that loading screen so that they can... Ah, oh, it's so smart. So smart. I love it so much. Enchanted loom going down here. Oh, I can zoom in here. That's fun. The way they did it's really fantastic. Brings back super fan. Yeah! No, I love it. So well done. What am I doing? I'm drinking. I'm conjuring. <laughs> uh, conjure? Heck yeah. He wants an enchanted loom, please. And we want it to be purple, like everything else we have, of course. And we're going to put this. I don't know. We'll put it over here. I don't even know where the front is. Is this the front? I hope so. I don't think it is, actually. I think this is the front. Alright, I guess I'll put you there. Um, 
First thing I did when I could is create the pet feeder so I wouldn't have to swap out the pellets all the time. Oh, I didn't know you could create pet feeders. Gear features one primary offense or defense stat by default. Magical materials can be used with the loom to add an upgrade secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued at beast dens or unlocked in, in quests. New trait recipes can be collected in... Oh! That's what the bandit, cap bandit camps are for. Interesting. You upgrade? Sure, let's upgrade. Why not? It's what I'm wearing. I guess it's all everything that I'm wearing, right? Ah, oh, missing ingredients for that one. Do I even use this one? I don't know. Maybe. Let's upgrade everything. We've got things for it, so might as well. Nice. Done. <laughs> There's pet feeders and breeding pens. I know about the breeding pens. You can conjure if you buy the things from the guy. I don't yeah, I know the guy. <gasps> Lego, what's Lucy doing? You have to keep me up to date with everything Lucy does. We love a kitty cat. That looks like more than just what you're wearing. I know I've hidden everything that she's wearing. <laughs> So bright. Where's Deke? Oh, he's up here. I added. Didn't I add a trait? Maybe there's a bit of something to do. Okay, let's go back here then. View traits. Oh! Oh! Concentration, damageable. Oh. How interesting. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. Well, there you go. Just sleeping for Oh, but they're so cute when they're sleeping. Is she like all curled up with the paws over her face or anything? They're so cute. Very nice and proud of that. Good. On the upside, if you enchant the clothes you want to sell, they're worth more money. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> I use the enchanted thing. Oh. Loom, Wonderful. Camera's struggling. I to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom. You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. She's so freaking cute. I'm going to come and steal her. I'm going to come steal your snacks and I'm going to steal your kitten. <laughs> Uh, Dick suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Yes, well. Does Loom work with all clothing? I don't think it does, so. Thank you for your help, Dick. That's fine. It is what it is. Lovely. Well, great work. Great work, Karen. What else have we got? Oh, I don't know how many moves I've got. Cast a pulse on a levitated enemy. Oh, we haven't done that. I also like how there are some beasts that don't have a male or female card pass. The phoenix is only one. Yeah. I agree with that. I like the idea of giving my phoenix a friend, but... Phoenix are also very strong. Flippendo! Hmm. Let's do this one. Let's go find some enemies. Enemies. 
Anemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemonemon
making me panic. Jeepers. Oh my god. Oh, I got shivers down my spine. See, I don't always... <laughs> no, you don't always speak like it. That's why I, I believe Zillennial, you know? I think it's a good skill to have, you know? It's good to... Good to understand what these ho hoodlums are speaking about. How do I...? Nope. Okay, I guess I need to use this one then. Fine. Oh, come on. That's your hot. There we go, here we are. Let's get over here. Lovely. Does that open the top for me? Nope. Yes, if I that's me. I'm partial to the medieval ages, so naturally that is how I tend to speak. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, is that how I open that? Huzzah! I'm a genius. I'm so good at this game. Wow. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, look at the doggy. We'll leave the doggy. Bang, bang. Oh, there's the last one. Well, we're gonna do the dark forest. I don't know. Let's see if there's any, actually are there any other fighting quests? We got that one. What's garlic? Oh, grow and harvest fluxweed, and use the combat plants simultaneously. I'm pretty sure I've got all of them. I have all of them. How exciting! Okay. Well, now I need to find a large battleground. Here we go, a large battleground. This will do. Incredible. Now where do we start? I reckon we start with the chomping cabbage. Betting on the dragon fight was the best decision I've made yet. In the IRL, I mean, fair enough. Why do you try to redeem sounds in real life? Well, oh, when you try to redeem sounds. <laughs> Hi, doggy. <laughs> Where is he? He was just here. He was scared. He was also scared of the Inferni. Inferno? Infern. Eh, whatever. What? Potato! Now we use one of those. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh! I never liked vegetables. Um, hold on. I don't know. I'm trying to work out how to use these. There we go. Does that work? Do I not use them all simultaneously? I guess not. <sighs> I wasn't fast enough. But do I need to use them in battle? I don't think I need to use them in battle. Better world for me. Never specified. Where are these people? Oh, up here. 
Amazing. Well, we're gonna do this quickly. Thought we'd forget about that goblin helm you nicked. You're deaf at me! Back in the ground with you. Miserable weed. I was lazy there for my chopping cabbage. Oh. Beautiful, done, easy. Now I need flux weed. Also, hydrate, thank you very much. I know it's weird, isn't it, when you're on Twitch? New things for me to get used to. Oh, there's a cave over here. Is it useful? One way to find out. One way to find out. It all. This looks intriguing. Lewis. It does. It does indeed, Miss Karen. I'm about to find out just how intriguing. Would you go into a deep dark cave like this and just not, without knowing what's on the other end, and just trust it? I personally wouldn't. Or dive down to see where it leads. I'm way too safe for that. Goodness, hiccup. <laughs> too funny for that. <laughs> You're funny. I didn't realize that there was a tent here. Revelio. Anything of interest here? No. A whole bunch of wolves, though. Mongrels. My spidey sense tingle. Yeah, me too. I couldn't. I could not do that. Could not, would not, not interested. Thank you very much. Do I have any flux wheat? I don't know if I do. Looking for seeds is what I'm looking for. Where do I find seeds? Oh, do I still have... Mm, oh, that was something else. We got some of these. I don't know how many we have. Hmm, not sure. They memorize some of your other sounds. <laughs> so that I can put them in chat on YouTube. I'm glad there's no scare sound here. Not yet. I don't know. I don't know what happens once you start getting monetized by YouTube. And how everything changes. I'm excited to find out. We'll get there eventually. Slowly but surely, I'm sure. Slowly but surely. Oh, just notes and letters. <laughs> well, I said, "Boo!" I don't have any like cool reverb. <laughs> boo, boo. <laughs> oh, I was looking at quests. Was I fluxweed? Is what I was looking for. I was gonna get fluxweed. You know, what? let's use a map quick, and let's go to Hogsmeade quickly, and let's go to the Magic Neat. And let's travel here, and we'll go to the magic knee. <laughs> I tried. It's not the same effect, but I still tried. True. True. <laughs> Worst one is... <sighs> oh, I hate it. It's my least favourite sound. That's why it costs the most. Well, I feel like I should increase its price. I don't know. It's 750 bits. Greetings! Please, take your time looking about. Can't do it the same swagger as some of the other people in the Twitch community. They really... they are. They, some of them are perfectly timed. 
not grass. Fluxweed, thank you very much. Three hundred fifty dollars. Let me know if there's anything Galleons, else I can whatever. help you with. Oh, mellow sweet, please, and thank you. I need it so I can do the things on the place no with say people. I don't keep a stack shelf. Actually, can I sell any gear? I'm remembering. I'm remembering. We're getting there. Eventually. You have a good head for business, haven't you? I sure do. Thank you very much. Ooh, what kind of car are you going to have, Lego? Car is a good idea. Especially at the moment, it's freezing here in Australia. <laughs> No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. This is true. No one can say that because it is quite a stacked shelf indeed. Let's see what's over here. There's someone down here that needs my help. Oh, it's you. Oh! Ow. Go on, Karen. You oh, yep. That works too, I suppose. You can swim in, in the waterfall, I guess. That works too, I suppose. <laughs> There we go. Hello, is something the matter? You should still the one from Harry Potter where he's going to that snake up for moon calf Oh yeah. Was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. Yes, well, I we all know no how I feel about goblins. A pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. I'm not going to help you because you're a goblin. I'm going to help you because we love animals here on this channel. <laughs> Surely see you mean parcel tongue. Do I read that? A good one. They're good. They're both good. A katsu. Ooh. Ooh. Splendid choice indeed. Yum. I haven't had katsu in a very long time. That's a complete lie. I never had katsu. I've seen other people eat katsu and it looks good. <laughs> It'd be sick. I'll look into it, Maddie. I'll look into it. That one I don't mind being scared with. I mean, it sends shivers down my spine, but you know, I love Harry Potter, so. Do I care about details? Nah, we just want to go save from Mina. I mean, Kaf. We don't want to make friends here. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. I didn't have a choice, did I? The options didn't let me. I promise to reward you for your efforts. A reward, though. Do Why didn't you start with her. that? And be careful out there. Take the biscuit. Unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnoff's moon calf. Yay, moon calf. as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Oh. It sounds to be that way, doesn't it, Karen? Excuse me, coming through. I said, excuse me, come. Wow, come on, Karen. You muppet uses. Or we could do the killing curse. I could. Oh, do I have that? I don't think what sounds I do have. Because I have a few different Harry Potter sounds. Not all of them have been used. Because I had them all as paid stuff, I think. Or most of them as paid stuff. Except maybe one. <laughs> Love the music. Oh, I still can't fly yet. How about here? No? Here? Nope. Here. Yes. Aha. Got there eventually. Oh, there's a thingy here. Hold on, getting distracted. La 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 I know a Merlin trial when I see one. I would say that Irondale is not appropriately named. I hope they don't bother me. Ah, of course you would. 
I'm busy over here, thank you, sir. I'm sure it'll be harder to kill him. You sure it's harder to do what? What was harder? One Sorry, I missed that. In the wizarding world. Oh, what are these? Oh, I guess that's what you do with those ones. You go kaboom, kablamo. Any more? Oh, yes, this one. Is that all of them? Is it just four? Are there more sneaky hidden around? Where are the others? Where are the others? Oh yeah. Merlin himself would be proud. Can you create your own sound with your own voice? Yes! The two super funny ones on my stream. <laughs> yes you can, definitely. Abs positively. Where are we going? Oh. We're getting our broom. Getting a broomstick. Hogsmeade Valley. We're doing our poetry camp to get biscuit, of course. Of course. We're not here. You can't see anything. I'm just a bird in the sky. Poachers! Garnif was right then. I had better be careful. Disrupt the poacher and a magus reductor with deposit. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Should I do the thing? No, not yet. Oh, I didn't do the thing. Damn it. Oh no, I need to do the thing on her though. Where's the wait, where's the animagus? There you are. Where's the animagus gone? Need to do the reducto thing. Oh! That one hurt. Oh, that frickin' did. You sound like the Animagus, though. Ouch. No, because I'm distracted trying to do it. Yeah. Woo! Oh, I need to- I need to get rid of a thing. Good to know. All right, great. Let's play Oh, rude. Get rid of you, and then where's the Animagus? Oh, did I do it? Ah ha ha, okay, now I can get rid of you. Where have you gone? There we go. Blasphemy, blasphemy is a good one. I feel like that'd be one that you would <laughs> you would do just for me as soon as I enter chat blasphemy which would be fair which would be fair but here's a look Alohamora 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 we go round and round round and round and round we go 
Now we gotta catch his thing. Which one of you is Biscuit? Which one is Biscuit? I don't know which one's Biscuit. Oh, this one. Right? Gotcha, Bicky. Gotcha. All right, Biscuit. Let's get you back to going up, shall we? Yes. Yes, we shall. But not before we raid the camp, of course. Thank you very much. Unforgivable, too. Oh my. All right, where are we going? Garnif. Got it. All the way back. Oh, there's balloons. I want to do the balloons. I don't know where they all are, though. I'm strongly assuming that they're down to the right, though. Will that be correct in assuming? No. Oh, they're over here. Why does my fire spell... I've got... I just upgraded my... um, Or added a trait to my clothing. I assume that would be it. Was there a balloon in the trees that I missed? Where's the other balloon? Revenia. Oh, down here. There's also a landing pad here. Cute. So the circle's larger than mine. It, it must be the um, added clothes. Yeah, <laughs> it felt big. It felt bigger than it was just before. Also, I would button map the flying controls if possible. Oh, yes. I would, yes. I would change the flying controls to be normal. Like, every, literally every other game. <laughs> Not just every other Hogwarts game. I mean, Harry Potter game. Literally every other game. The right thumbstick is for the camera view, and the left thumbstick is for control. You don't mix the two. That's weird. Everyone else has been trained in a particular way, and we don't mess with it. Oh, what's up here? Have I been up here? I don't think I have. I do see a sneaky, a sneaky sneak. Sorry. Sorry, I always feel bad doing that. What's here? Oh, I've been here before. Where are we? Absolute every facts clear. The people who created the flying controls are probably from Gryffindor. <laughs> Either Gryffindor or Hufflepuff, I reckon. I reckon that would have been the Hufflepuff going, Oh, make this easier for people. You know, this makes sense. And the Gryffindor's going, Ah, we just know better. <laughs> Oh, cool. If you didn't know that you could, um... Flick, I should sort in something there. out. Garneth, I've rescued oh, she's so dirty! <laughs> oh, is she hurt? Oh, she's clean all of a sudden. Was she frightened? Well done. Are you alright? We're fine. Because Karen's fine. amazing. As am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. Which is fair enough. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the hmm. evenings. Such joy. How cute. I'd like to be compensated. You can have her back for the right price. I, of course. I would pay any amount for the safety of my dear Biscuit. Aww. Oh, my Wouldn't sweet we all? little Biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here How bad would it be if you came back with the wrong moon? Well deserved. 
He goes, see, I'll pay you, and he gives him a cup, and he goes, that's not my biscuit. Oh, well. Oh, I did? You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Can I get the thing, please? Sneaky, sneaky. Oop, that's a delay. Great. 800 gold? It's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Someone's playing with uh, playing with lollies over here, hey. Well, that'll teach you, I suppose. Right. Onward. We've got a few things we need to accomplish. Oh, they have Papa no thinking outside the box stuff and making it harder on themselves. Oh, does she? <laughs> That's why I thought I was a Hufflepuff for a long time. I was like, all these online quizzes, Pottermore, blah blah blah, they don't know anything. I'm a Hufflepuff through and through. But talking to some other friends over the years and they've heard me say certain things and they've gone, nah, you're a Slytherin at heart. You have Hufflepuff qualities and traits, but you're a Slytherin at heart. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> But I'm so nice. <laughs> also, I want you to think. Oh, I remember you. You're gonna hate me soon. Why did I never learn how to swim? Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically. No, at least not yet. Mm. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we dueled in a cross forms club. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Good to see you again. And you. Good to see you. You seem quite <laughs> interested in my people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel why. that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. <laughs> I just say that Karen woke up on the wrong side of the bed and she chose violence, so I think you're wasting your time. She'll explain something in a crazy way that I could explain in like half a sentence. That's sweet. After hearing me talk, would you place me as a Ravenclaw? That's a good question. It would be hard between Ravenclaw and Gryffindor. And you're already aware about the Gryffindor, can you? It'd be hard between the two. Because just because you have a hero tendency doesn't automatically mean that you're a Gryffindor. There's so many layers, so many layers to people. It's hard to go, ah oh, yes, you're definitely this. I'm not gonna lie, Peter. Are you pegged way? <laughs> Can I try translating? And say, I picked you were a Slytherin from day one. Is that where you're going with that? Oh, okay. How'd you pay to uh, as a Slytherin? For the off? So you'd have a hard time sorting me then? I think so. I feel like I'd need to meet you, you know? I think it'd be different. But I'm so nice, Lego. I can also be quite manipulative. <laughs> I use my powers wisely. My time is. I'm I'm seeing that like oh yeah. <laughs> Did you really? A lot of people have thought I'm I've never I've never in every all the quizzes I've ever done, I only 
My top two was Slytherin and Ravenclaw. I've gotten Hufflepuff, maybe. So, okay, let's say I've done... I think I've done 11 quizzes. Oh, I've done more than that now. No, I think around 11. And out of those times, I've gotten Gryffindor once. Hufflepuff twice. Slytherin... I think five times? And then Ravenclaw three. Something like that. Definitely sorting out 23 anymore. <laughs> I, I could definitely do a quiz for you right now and I can put a link in chat if you guys wanted to take it yourself. It's the Pottermore quiz, but you can take it as many times as you want without a Pottermore account. I love it. I'm not sure this is a worthwhile endeavor. Do the more oh, people dethrone. Even want to be liaised with? They seem to be open to it so far. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. <laughs> that was going to get me. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get the quiz in a sec. What's so interesting about mer people? What is it about the mer people that interests you so much? <gasps> I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumor is that tales about them have infiltrated even the muggle world. The oldest known mer people, sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has selkies and Ireland is home to Meros. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. All of the it's quizzes are on this site. Little is understood about I love them. It. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that. For a price. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I may the not just report thing anything I back. Is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. That's pretty cool. I can't be friends with mer people. Find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. Well, you better be I quick on it. it. Silly lady. Oh, I want to be the liaison for the mer people, but I, I can't swim. So why not talk to friends and then work on it together or something? I don't know. Or learn to swim. I can teach you. Look Ooh. at this place. Did the mer people really leave Nerida an artifact? How pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Really? Now then, I'll need you to come with me. Correct. Come with me. And now for the rest of you. Be in a world of your imagination. I really didn't want to. Lewis. I heard part of the book where Peter is friends with the mermaids and he makes Tinkerbell jealous. Oh, part of Hook. <laughs> I haven't seen Hook. I know, fake fan, I'm horrible. But I haven't. I can imagine that being very funny. Very funny. Very entertaining. Just for Miss Tinkerbell. I love her. What do we have in here then? Someone is seeing Willy Wonka. Of course, we love Willy Wonka. Nerida will be happy about this. You know what? We're gonna give it to her. We're gonna be nice. I think the mermish, the mermaid people, need someone to talk to. You know? More blasphemy from villains who haven't seen it. I know. I know. I haven't. I have not seen Hook. I've seen Peter Pan, the old cartoon, but I have not seen Hook. It didn't really cross my path. There wasn't anyone that I 
grew up with or anyone I knew that went, ah, oh, Hook is something you have to watch. You know what I mean? So it never kind of crossed my path. Although you're going to hate me. I have more things on my to watch list, which I'm more than happy to tell you about. <laughs> and you can hate me more if you like. <laughs> Your gift from the mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was so worried much. I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. <laughs> Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. I could forgive for the books, but not for that. I know I'm horrible. No, it would be nice to her. I and think I'm we glad can... we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Yes. Merlin's beard. It's marvelous. I wanted to hold on to it because I love going it. I'm to show it to everyone, including the ministry. Should I hand deliver it or send by owl? Thank you again. Ah, oh, I thought you were asking me. I was so like, much. Hand with her. You may have just Waste helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. And then my name goes down I in history. To study this. Murky depths. That's good. That's good. It's a good one. And then everyone will know Karen Smith. Karen Smith is the one that that did it. We're gonna be famous. Whoops. On track. Oh, that's where I want to go. I'm guessing I need to put hook on my to watch list then, Maddie. <laughs> I keep feeling a wisdom tooth come through and it's really sore. Oh. Come with me. Oh, I heard there's a new Willy Wonka coming. With Timothy Chamley. Chamley. It's the greatest adaptation of all time. <laughs> so what I said, fight me if you must. Ooh. Those are fighting words, Maddie. Those are fighting words. You have piqued my interest with those words, though. I am definitely and put it on my list. is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Hmm. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. Mm -hmm. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Ooh, have fun. Bring it, Blasphemous. <laughs> Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can Wait. share with Mr. Takar. <laughs> it's so cute. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Okay, we'll do our best. Beautiful. Now I expect all of you to put in your stuff. Oh, should I make some Harry Potter for the new Willy Wonka? Is that clear? I'm interested. Professor, I'm intrigued. It's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the Highlands, from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hmm. She's a passionate teacher. I love it. Hello. I don't believe Hello. we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Why, thank you. How kind. That's very kind of you, Emmett. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. 
It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I. Thank you, Emmett. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Let me know when you crack the riddle in Ravenclaw Tower. Or if it's a Dimitri outside on the pitch. I'll see you on the pitch. I'm... I don't think I found, um... I don't think I've even found Ravenclaw Tower yet. Where do we... Oh. I suppose over here. Thank you very much. I will this take this as well. Telescope. Looks practically brand new. And I will take you as well. Thank you very much. Anything else of interest here? Ouch. Click my wrist. And I've just heard of it French. <laughs> yes, you can see look. <laughs> You're funny. Do not let it be wasted. Where is it? Is it here? Oh, it is here. Oh. You seek to challenge me? It is foolish. I'm aware. Ravenclaw's greatest seeker. It is foolish of me to challenge you. I'd much rather do the Ravenclaw riddle. But I haven't come across it. Astronomy Telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind, perfect for viewing the moon and stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. Well, there you go. Whoop. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. Hello. I have the telescope. Oh, let me click it's my... nicer than I had expected. <laughs> you should not be tamed. This is true. This is stargazer, true. A third-rate lunar scope. <laughs> but there is um something else. Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself, and hmm. it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. <laughs> so the telescope came with the catch. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But are you in? No one from I the Godstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. There's a few of your titles. You have many, many titles. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. I suppose I could join you. Right. I suppose I can go with you. I hope it's worth it. I it do too, be. Karen. Trust me, I have read practically everything there is to read about this. It should be brilliant. Shall we? You like the constellations? I forgot how to use the table because I tried to do one on my Slytherin character. The table and it is wasn't on a working. castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Come on, on Emmett. Some say the locations of the Run. tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Where are we going, Amit? Are we going over here? Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. The heretic who she who has not watched book, she who has not read the books. <laughs> you wish you had titles like mine. Oh, I'm just that good. <laughs> if you're sure. Hmm, where are we going? It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. <laughs> it's nice out here. Revenia. 
Ooh. Caged bathtub. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. A few cobwebs and some dust. <laughs> Nothing to be concerned about. It's hilarious. Oh, a mitt just appeared. That scared me more than anything else that I've come across so far. <laughs> My tower's just better, bro. Yeah, well... Incendium. Yeah. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Probably. Oh, no, not this close to the school, Amit. Oh, I mean, yeah, no, huh? There it is. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Can I, oh, I can rotate. There we go. They were smelly. I was right about the tables. <laughs> they really are gateways to the far side. Exactly stars, right. Just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Oh. <laughs> if you say so. Whatever you say, Amit. Whatever you say. <laughs> She's so mean. Oh, you wait. You are going to be it's quoted funny. saying just that. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I so have ever sweet. seen one. It's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's Aww. quite generous. Thank you. Very You're generous. Welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I, I love will that see line. you soon. Because I could heard about so many, so many accents and languages. About your R's. R's. Where are we going? Quests. I think there's another one that I need to finish off. Oh, Sebastian. I need divination. Oh, Fluxweed was the other one. The high keep. Ooh. Wait. But that gets me... Right? <laughs> Don't you put your hair in such heresies as I've heard before me? <laughs> yes, well. <laughs> Let's go to divination class. I would like to go to divination. Where is it? What? Yeah, if we go... Oops, I don't want to do that. Yeah, this one. Ah, here we go. That's what I wanted. Potions, divinations. So we're going. They need to grow and harvest flux weed. Maybe we go and plant half... half the, the. Many of talk. I'm looking forward to it. You're the first person that's brought it to my attention as a you need to watch this film so i'm looking forward to it oops that's what i wanted we're gonna travel up here we're gonna plant some flux weed and then while that's growing and doing the thing that needs to do i'm gonna <laughs> go and do other things oh i think my pot plant's over here maybe we need to make another pot i reckon that's making oh that's got mallow sweet Oh, even better. Alright, let's get another table down here then. I didn't know Robin Williams was in Hook. I love Robin Williams. He was an amazing man. No, you won't pop 
purple. Everything purple. Just keep more purple too. I hope so. Yeah, it does. Amazing. I don't think gothic quite suits. I think we go with this one. I'll we'll put it over here in the sun somewhere. Um, conjure. He created Diddy. He was such an incredible man. I need a large pot? Oh. How do I make a large one? Oh. What? Passion of Tombs and Scrolls. Oh, how rude. Or pass the genie as well as. Dead Poet Society is another one that's been on my to watch list for a while. Genie. Mrs. Doubtfire was my go to for him. Loved Mrs. Doubtfire. You have to be stupid, but you have to go buy it from. Oh, yeah, yeah. So stupid. I agree, 100%. <laughs> that's right. Maybe that'll be a next dream job. I'll finish this one off. Because I feel my sister's getting painful. It was a try by fruiting. <laughs> There's so many good, so, so many good lines from Mrs. Doubtfire. I love it so much. So funny. So funny. And so many of the outtakes and the deleted scenes are great too. Comes past. Oh, your flowers are looking a little dull. My flowers never look like that. What do you put on your flowers? <laughs> no, I don't need a hand. I need a face. A face. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find. Catch me a catch. Do, 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 So good, so good. What was I doing? Why did I go here? Oh, to change the time of day. Oh, hello. Holy moly! It's a pit out of nowhere. <laughs> It's my absolute favourite. I've seen all these movies. Even. Why do you keep covering? Stupid. Toys and RV. Oh, I forgot about RV. He was in so many films. Such an amazing man. So hard when the demons take over, hey. He was so loved. What's happened there, Mr. Ravenclaw? Dang, you okay? Jumanji, Jumanji's also good. Our poor mother doesn't know what to do with her time, so she needs it. Sends us each a new jumper every week. Hmm. Excuse me. What do we have here? I hope those assignments were challenging. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Thank you. Although I must admit. I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. That's so. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? I see power. 
I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking. I didn't and say I good things, I said I power. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills. Ah, oh, count me out then. seem to possess one. <laughs> but this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. Mm. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel Thank your you. magic towards cool. your targets. Descendo. Jumanji is one of the best. It is you have absolutely it. Now, classic. Why not practice the new spell on the trim dummy? Voice actor was in Warcraft, really? God, I haven't played Warcraft in years. I used to play Warcraft 3 back in the day. I loved it. It was so fun. Um, sure, let's do this one. Oh, why is everything in the way? Rude. Why are you moving? Also make me very uncomfortable. I think you have it. Thank you. For now, I got my comedic personality side. It was from Robin Williams, Jim Carrey, and Bill Murray. Ah, oh. it's a good combo. It's a good combo. Specifically in that order. I think it's a good. I think it's a good order. It's a good combo to have it in. Ah, oh, now it works. It didn't work for ages. Fine now, demi guys. Correct. Oh, she's still here. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna steal this nice ornament off of your desk. Maddie, Jim Carrey, imposter. <laughs> you should have it after. Oh, for Maddie. Jim Carrey, imposter? You have piqued my interest. I am sorry, chest. It always makes me feel so guilty doing this to you. He just looks so scared and sad. It makes me so sad. Just thieving, demi guys. Yes. Mine now, demi guys. <laughs> Mine now. <laughs> All right, one more quest. Which quest are we completing? Let's go Sebastian, I think. I think we go Sebastian. Actually, before we do continue. Parody of Snow Informer. I do not know Snow Informer. Does not ring a bell. I've only got, I've only got four? Rude. What's this? Oh. <laughs> can I do anything with it? I don't think I can. I haven't found anyone that I can play gobstones with or anything. Like, I don't know what the point is of stealing her. Taking her gobstones. Because I can give them back later. I don't know. Oh, look at all this Halloween stuff. How fun. Oh, yeah, I can't do my... Zippy zap, can I? My zappy rolls. Mine now, dummy guys. Where am I going? Why am I going this way? Is it faster this way? I don't even know. I'm just following. <laughs> just following where this thing was taking me. But not correctly, obviously. Oh dear. Oh dear. My bad. Time to follow the yellow dots on the map because I followed the wrong way. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Ah, here we go. Much better. Oh! There's a thing here. Pavilion. Ho 
Hogwarts crest. The Hogwarts coat of arms includes a lion, snake, eagle, and badger, representing each of the four houses, along with a school motto, Draco Dormiens Nun Nunquam Titulandus, which means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Indubitably, it sure does. Such a great school motto. Oh, it's on the other side there. Okay. Also, one thing, actually, there was a DLC. I'd love to see these filling up, because they don't fill up. I don't know what we're up to. I remember Harry Potter and the, was it the Chamber of Secrets? It had the number of, you know, so you could see who was winning. Can't see nothing. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Still so funny. I love, I love it so much. Can you believe the heresy we had today? Because I simply cannot. I know, now it's on blast for the world. Permanently on the YouTubes. Anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. Drama, drama. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. More Ominous things in Hogwarts. The art, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Let it be known she has not seen the greatest adaptation Peter Pan ever. Apparently, apparently, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> um, we are Karen. So we are cautious and we are concerned about all the crap that's happening in Hogwarts. Ominous is right. Meddling in the dark arts is dangerous. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous' <laughs> family history is personal to him. You can tell me, because I'm nosy. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous mm -hmm. learned dark magic sure. from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Sure freaking am. Crucius, correct? Great. The Cruciatus curse, also known as the torture curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently. His parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's Jeez. cries as horrific. So the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. It's hard. Mm. He had no choice. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. Mm. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Oh. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. Mm. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Exciting I'll make times. Understand. He'll change his mind. If that's what you think, then that is what you think. At the Great Hall. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let me sneaky us over here. Let me sneaky this over here. Of course I'm familiar with it. It felt like being cast upon me when I had been a head not seen hook. <laughs> the scandal Sebastian was your ears. <laughs> I know, I know I'm horrible, horrible person. Because <laughs> I have not seen Hook. I have not seen a lot of other films and I will spare your ears because um it just adds to the blasphemous 
claims of mine. <laughs> I do want to thank you all for being here. Um, I'm going to start wrapping it up for this evening. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you so, so much. It was a lot of fun. I feel like we're going to finally be progressing a bit further. I don't know. Most of my time here is to hang out with you guys. So... <laughs> <laughs> I, of I often forget when I end up doing on stream because it's just fun to hang out and chat and yeah I have a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoy it too and thank you guys so much for coming with me over to YouTube from Twitch and your support means the world to me so thank you so so much okay you confess your sins another day I know you've heard enough tonight I will spare you <laughs> I'll let that sink in and we'll leave it with that <laughs> I hope you all have a beautiful weekend. I will see you guys soon. I have some videos that I'll be editing coming up shortly this weekend. Um, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I've missed editing and making videos. It's been a rough week for me, which is fine. Personal things get in the way and it happens and that's fine. So. I miss you. I miss you guys too. I miss you all so much. I was thinking about you all over the last week, but it just didn't work out, which is fine. Friendly reminder, prior reminder, prioritize yourself and whatever's happening in life. Don't bend over backwards for people if there's no good reason for it. Okay, you are important too. There are things that happen in life. You need to just do it. Hoping for the day that I can one day off for you, Absolution. I know you sometimes use voice to text, so I'm trying to translate what that could have sounded like. <laughs> Hoping for the day if I can help the world, then who will, my friend? This is true. This is true. There are lots of people helping, though. Some of them do use it as clout, but, <laughs> but still for your sins. Oh yes. Yes. No, understandable. I, I will do better. I promise. I will, I will get better. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I promise. I will I will read books, I will watch movies. I never had anyone recommend Hook as a good adaptation, so it's definitely on my list of things to watch now. That's what you should and I shall Oh did you such an oath. Fair enough. Hand over heart, fair enough. I will, I will, it will happen. I'm not putting a time frame on it, but it will happen. Eventually. I hope you all have a beautiful weekend. I will be uploading some videos this weekend. Um, I will think I've got two lined up. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Came out in 1994. Yeah, no, no one recommended it. Some people said, oh yeah, it was okay. And I never, no one's gone, it was great and you need to watch it. From memory. Maybe they did, but I only heard it a couple of times. Maybe from like one person. I know not, not everyone liked it, so I'm. <laughs> you've piqued my interest. And I'll let you know. I'll watch it and I'll let you know my thoughts. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend, Maddie. Lego, enjoy your curry and your cuddles with Lucy. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for everyone that was lurking as well. You're loved, you're appreciated, and you matter. Mwah. You are so, so wonderful and so important to this world, even if you don't believe it. And yeah, thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Look after yourselves. You're important. You are important. You need to put yourself first. Something I'm still learning, which is fine. We're all on our own learning curve and it's not linear. <laughs> Anyway, love you guys. Have a beautiful weekend. I will see you guys next week on Tuesday over on Twitch if all goes well. Otherwise, I'll keep you guys updated on my Discord and on my Instagram. Don't forget to follow my socials if you want to keep up to date with everything. 
So I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Have a good weekend. This was really fun. We hope you liked it too. Seems like we've just begun when suddenly we're through. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go. But hey, I say, well that's okay. Cause we'll see you very soon, I know. Very soon, I know.